Hi everyone, just a very quick update regarding the uh, functionality drag and drop functionality for the desktop app. Uh, since the video got released, I actually heard from a couple of users that it works for them, which triggered, um, of course, the possibility that somehow I got two corrupt installations at the same time and actually on both of my computers. So I reinstalled on the laptop and it started working. And then I tried to reinstall on my desktop, but it continued not to work. But then I noticed what the problem was. My antivirus actually blocked a part of the uninstallation process. And for some reason it blocked it on both of them, but uh, the reinstall process somehow worked on my laptop, but it didn't work on my desktop. So if you do get to have that problem of that kind of sort um, on Windows 10, of course, um, I think on Mac you won't have that issue. Uh, here's what worked for me. So step one would be, and just to show it now, whoops, sorry, and to show that it now works, hopefully. <laughs> Yes, so now it works properly as it should. Hooray! So if you do get to have that problem that I had, that the drag and drop didn't work, uh, what worked for me, first try to reinstall the app. So just uninstall, install it again, and then it will update automatically and it should work. So on my laptop, it worked. If even that doesn't work, then the second thing that worked for me was this. Uh, step one was uninstall the Remarkable app. Then step two was to go to um, this directory here. So I went to C, users, your name uh, for the Windows, app data, roaming, and then Remarkable. And then delete this entire desktop folder. Then restart your computer and then finally install the app again. It will update and for me that worked. So it was a simple matter of, for some reason, corrupt installation. Um, I really am uh, inclined to believe that it was my antivirus that actually blocked the uh, uninstallation or update process somehow. Um, but yeah, this definitely worked and drag and drop functionality works. So apologies for the confusion, but I hope that this actually helps someone if they encounter the same problem that I did. Bye.